Welcome, age of vintage society. Everything in life indeed has a price tag. When this legendary Disney child actress rose to fame from child acting, she did not realise her virtue would always be under public scrutiny. With awards and other outstanding recognition, the entertainment industry was agog with Hayley Mills's promising talent. On becoming a sought-after film actress and shocking fans by playing a child-sensitive role, she appears to have announced her maturity by going into an illicit affair with a man 32 years older. The media was awash in the scandals and later her illness. Although this heroine seems to have proven her mettle over the years beyond child glamour. Why was Hayley Mills eager to exploit her body? Make sure to watch the video until the end and leave your thoughts in the comments. If you are new here, join our wonderful community by subscribing to the Age of Vintage channel. The marital choice is among the many choices one must make in life. Sometimes it sounds good, other times looks absurd and attention-grabbing, especially when it involves a unique personality as Hayley Mills, who is no doubt a natural talent. Coming from an entertainment family where she was positioned for an early exploit, Mills got quick access to fame as a little girl. A lady whose career is longer than 60 years is not just your favourite Mickey Mouse's precious darling. She worked hard to place her name in the good book of both the British and American entertainment industries. Mills is very unique, having navigated from teenage to extended adult acting. Unlike Shirley Temple and Bobby Driscoll, who both were out of the scene before the age of 24. She has continued to make fruitful film appearances since 1959 and still counting. This British-born blonde stood in history as a Disney legend, especially with her outstanding performance in the Pollyanna production, appearing alongside veteran stars. Mills evolved into a matured Hollywood actress, but fans still recognise her with images of her youngster exploits, including the likes of The Parent Trap and In Search of the Castaways. Her success within six years in Disney placed her among the most popular child actresses at the time, with analysts presenting her as America's favourite child star, who was rather British-born and very ladylike. How being in the spotlight at the time contributed to the circumstance that played out in the later part of her life is still an issue for debate although fans are particularly wondering how she eroded her beautiful childhood innocence that her teeming fans identify her with decisions that put her question on her personality. Was she involved in an illegal romantic affair? The last time I checked, analyst described as shocking her decision to get into an illicit affair with a 52-year-old man at the time she was just 19, even while the fellow was married. Although it appeared scandalous to her personality and the gossip circle, many still believe that the decision was her call to make. Just as the dust raised by the unusual romance was about settling, fans woke up to hear that their leading lady would have to face the worst real-life nightmare of her life as she was diagnosed with deadly breast cancer. Hayley Mills, who was more frightened of the surgery and chemotherapy process than of the disease itself, was grateful she made it and would attribute the recovery to combination therapy with an unconventional approach for an infection that she initially kept away from the public. One career regret Mills voiced is her inability to be part of Lolita, a movie role that was understandably prevented by her handlers. She was closely guided by her parents then, who were selective about the character roles they wanted their daughter to display. Her actor father was particularly cautious, and later surprised to see her 12-year-old daughter rise from oblivion to film star of international repute after co-starring with her. Hayley Catherine Rose Vivian Mills, the notable most promising newcomer BAFTA award winner, widely known as Hayley Mills, was born in Marylebone, London on the 18th of April 1946 to Sir John Mills and Mary Hayley Bell. Mills is the female version of her father, who himself was a known British actor before now. How she came into acting was more of an opportunity than an encounter, even though J. Lee Thompson, who brought her into the scene, was originally looking for a boy child. After her 12 years birthday, Thompson decided to use her instead of the lead role in Tiger Bay, 
It saw her co-starring with her father in a movie that became so popular at the box office in Britain. Her enviable performance presented a beautiful opening for more exploits as she became a choice child actor for Walt Disney, appearing in six movies at that tender age. After watching her Tiger Bay performance, producer Bill Anderson recommended Mills for the lead role in Pollyanna in 1960, which later became a breakthrough to fame. It later would earn her a special Academy Award as she historically became the last person to be given that juvenile Oscar. Mills also got a lot of accolades for her dual role as Susan and Sharon doubles in the Disney movie The Parent Trap in 1961. Performing the twins' role was an instant success as the film went viral globally and ended in the top eight on the US Top Ten chart. Her outing in Whistle Down the Wind the same year, a movie version of her mother's novel, added to her popularity as she got nominated for the BAFTA Award for Best British Actress. It saw her being adjudged the leading star in Britain for the year 1961. Years later, having tested acting fame, Mills started performing in theatrical plays as she made an initial appearance on stage in 1966 with West End revival of Peter Pan, from where she shifted a little into more mature roles. At the time, her excellence in Disney productions already won her Disney Legend Award. When Mills was offered a role in Lolita by Stanley Kubrick, it met a brick wall as Disney and her father felt it was way out of brand projection. And as a child, she did not have an option in what was happening, but later admitted she felt so unhappy about it as the film became a hit. I wish I had done it, she was quoted to have said, adding that even though Disney provided an opportunity for her career, it also hampered her opportunity to exploit further her natural talent. So, by the time she turned 20, she made up her mind not to renew her Disney contract. While fans across the globe were celebrating this raw knack, no one knew how she was coping with her personal life, especially at that early stage of her career, which she was pushing from low self-esteem to poor eating habits, together with the regular restriction from doing films that she thought would have helped her career the more. All these she had revealed in her Forever Young memoir, where she vividly described her struggle. Mills had specifically stated that she turned down a new Disney pact because her character castings were repetitive, repeating herself in the studio. She also hinted how a year after declining the contract renewal, she had lost the majority of her Disney wealth to a 90% inland revenue tax rate law in England. After several appeals for reversal of the policy, it returned without any success. Mills found herself in Universal Studios co-starring again with her father in The Truth About Spring in 1965. The following year, she co-starred with Disney's favourite James MacArthur, The Trouble with Angels, all of which ended as average films. But she wanted a hit and wanted it soon. Again, she would appear with her father alongside Heil Bennett in a film directed by Roy Bolting, The Family Way, in 1966 a comedy themed on a couple that was not able to consummate their marriage. The film was criticised for being child-sensitive as it incorporated a nude scene, even though it was an eye-opener for her fans who still see her as a baby with so much innocence. Mills thinks that it provided an opportunity for her to grow up amidst a protective life she had lived. In her words, for the first time in my sheltered life I took all my clothes off for the camera. She added that it was a moment that marked the end of her career in child acting. This was it, my chance to grow up. Taking my clothes off was an extraordinarily awful and rather hysterical experience from start to finish, she said. After the film, she had many other productions with Bolting. It was within this period that a lot of things started to occur in her life, including the romantic relationship with Bolting that eventually ended in marriage. Then, as a young, desirous young adult who was just in her early twenties, she was more than eager to exploit her life, body and everything that would make her an independent woman. By this time, Mills has metamorphosed into full-time acting roles. Even though the latter films did not quite get the needed box office success or make the A-list in Hollywood as her child acting glamour, she continued to put her best foot forward. Mills also made TV appearances like the UK television series 
The Flame Trees of Thika in 1981 and her lead role in Disney's TV series Good Morning Miss Bliss in 1988, among others. On how she started with Bolting, she had stated that Roy Bolting fascinated her the moment she saw him, describing him as a man she said was without question one of the most striking-looking men I'd ever encountered. Despite his age then, she still recalls him having handsome and well-patterned hair that she observed collapsed over his bright blue eyes. She hinted that a night before The Family Way was to be released in the cinemas, he took her to see the film, and how she felt surprised by many things, including the sound of the film, but did not pay attention to the performance in the film, probably because it was not the thing in her mind at the time. So she found her heart feeling lighter as they walked back to her flat, through an isolated Trafalgar Square, down the mall. And on getting to a pedestrian crossing within Buckingham Palace, Roy turned around and kissed her. Was she expecting the reassuring kiss? That outing was followed by the film's opening celebration that evening with what she said was a rapturous reception that spanned far deep into the night. In her words, We slept together. I adored him. I simply didn't care that he was 32 years older. But another ugly side of this relationship was that Bolting was married at the time. She noted that it was the same week news broke that Walt Disney died at age 65. She was shocked initially that her mentor and powerful influence in her childhood had died, but that the news confirmed her full exit from girlhood influence to adulthood. With a taste of Roy Bolting's love, she was now living with great expectation, according to her, whatever that means. It was obvious that she was in love with all the private hide-and-seeks that would follow. So sometime in 1967, with most of her thinking revolving around her relationship with Roy, she felt a little nervous that she hadn't told her parents yet about it and would find a way to do so sooner, but how? I decided to surprise them very early at Heathrow when they flew back from America, Mills stated because at the time her father was producing a television series. Mills added that her parents, on seeing her outlook, sensed that something was up and when she hinted at her relationship with Roy, there was a stunned silence as her parents tried to process what she was saying. She also added that it was not the best news for her father, who stood perplexed momentarily, and the next moment he was flat on the floor, she said. She still recalls her mother staring intently at her and saying, So you've finally been in the hay. It was a difficult conversation for her, just as it would be for anyone in such a situation. Her father's silence may have bothered her a little until he finally spoke. Darling, I do like Roy. Darling, he's as old as me. When you're 40, Roy will be 72. He wanted her to see beyond the surface, but Mills said she had replied to her father jokingly saying, We've talked about that. Mills said she had explained that when the time came, I'll have to push him along the seafront in a wheelchair, obviously bypassing her father's concern with a laugh as she watched him stare back, horrified. Was it love, infatuation, or just the need to grow up fast? Well, Mills thinks it's nothing other than love, and she was ready to take that step of fate to be with her man. That is how the duo came to be together, and later were married in 1971. Had a son, Crispin Mills, who is a singer. They, however, divorced in 1977. The major concern then was that Roy already had a sizeable past with six sons of which two were older than Mills herself, and the children had come from three initial marriages and mistress relationships. The relationship did not just taint her image among fans, it became the most prominent scandal at the time, although the rumours of what may have transpired were quite respectful because of the personalities involved, a lot of people felt it was unfit for Hayley Mills to have married Roy. A particular article was said to have been published to scold Bolting for applying some mesmerising influence on a young Haley. Mills later entered another intimate relationship with actor Lee Lawson and had her second son Jason in July 76, but that partnership ceased sometime within the 1980s. Very much older now, Mills decided to reverse the relationship order this time by going into a connection with Ferdus Bamji, who was 20 years younger in 1997. Bamji, her actor and writer boyfriend, has also proven to be a good lover, as the duo has been together since then. 
In April 2008, Mills got the sad news of her breast cancer infection that later took her through dreadful surgery. Soon after, she was reported to have quickly halted chemotherapy after three sessions for the fear of its harshness. Perhaps had opted for an alternative treatment, which she later said, after surviving, to have contributed to her quick recovery. If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you are new here, and if you want to support my work, please visit my Patreon page. Hayley Mills said her love for a man so much older was true, but not everyone is so lucky. Why had Angelica Houston the saddest love life? Find out from this video.